Hey people, what's up? So tonight's Q&A is, can I replace a meal with a protein shake to lose weight? Now, if we want to keep it simple, yes, you can. And yes, you would probably lose weight because obviously there's going to be a relatively significant calorie reduction for the majority of people. Particularly if you're overweight, then it's, it's very likely you're not eating on plan. You're, you're eating a lot of things that you maybe shouldn't. So thereby, or sorry, therefore, by cutting a meal out, replacing it with a shake, yes, you'll probably lose weight. The catch-22 is you still may end up being nutrient deficient because most people just between two meals will not get enough overall nutritional balance. So then just adding in a protein shake, yeah, it might help bump up your protein requirement, but it's not necessarily going to make sure you hit all of your nutritional or dietary markers that are going to be ideal for not only helping you lose the weight, but also making sure that you stay healthy whilst doing so. So personally, what I would recommend instead, most people, when they get the balance right and eat the correct amounts for their particular goal, will do well on the standard three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Now, occasionally they might need snacks in between if the goal is a um, isn't so much around weight loss and it's more around building muscle and staying lean and, and so on. But three meals a day works for most people. Now, would I suggest you replace a one of those with a protein shake? Not necessarily. But what you might find is by adding in a protein shake and still continuing to eat your three meals a day might actually work better for you. And the reason for that is because most people struggle to hit their ideal protein requirement for when losing weight. Now, to keep things simple, you guys have probably heard me say before, I just recommend that on average, you eat two palm-sized portions per main meal. So what that means is you look at your palm, you go the size and the thickness of your palm, two portion size or two portions of protein of that size. So if you're eating steak or chicken breast or fish or whatever the thing is you're choosing, Two palm-sized portions per main meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner, tends to be good. But if you're somebody that struggles to do that or if you don't hit it every time, sometimes by adding in that protein shake will make sure that you hit your ideal protein requirement. Now, of course, some of you, excuse me, <coughs> some of you um, may not want to, to use your palm as a, as a measurement guide and would actually prefer a specific protein number to hit. So some people are like, oh, well, how many grams of protein a day should I be hitting? Now, if you are training three times a week or more, then I would recommend that you have anywhere around 0 0.9 to 2.2 grams of protein per pound of mass. So basically, if you weigh 150 pounds, for example, you would eat 150 grams of protein approximately. So plus or minus a little bit, but you sort of aim for that average of around 150 grams, which if you were to weigh it out or, or scale it out based on your palm size, you'll find it's relatively similar. So for most people to keep things simple, they don't want to be weighing and so on. They'll just use the, the palm size guide. If you'd rather use numbers and keep things more specific, then using roughly one gram per pound of mass tends to work very well for most people. So that will ensure you hit the ideal protein intake. And then <clears throat> the, the, the shake can be used as a good way to hit that rather than as a replacement for one of your meals. Because as I say, yeah, you'll probably lose weight, but because the overall calorie reduction may be too great and the overall um, food consumption overall might be too great, you may end up in the long run a little bit nutritionally deficient. And that's not ideal when we're trying to lose weight and maintain health. So hope that helps people. As always, if you have any questions of your own, drop them in the comments. And if not, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Nice and simple. Take it easy.